the Lord said, when I turn around the captivity of people this time, it will be like you are just dreaming. When you drive your new car, it will be like you are dreaming. You, you'll be saying, I hope I don't wake up from this dream. When you are staying at your new address, it will be like you are dreaming. When you look at your bank account, it will be like a serial number. I said your bank account in RTGS will be like a serial number. Your bank account in US dollars will be like a phone number. I'm speaking it and it must come to pass. I love what David said in 1 Samuel 30. He said, shall I pursue? Hey, hey, hey. And shall I pursue? Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? We are no longer waiting for the enemy to do anything. Ah, yeah. they, they've done based on what they did in the past we are about to pursue you afflicted my left side i'm going to pursue i I just have to find one thing that you did in the past just to aggravate my spiritual anger based on that i'm going to pursue shall i pursue somebody say confront say it again say confront we are going to confront I said as they are sitting there we are confronting listen I hear someone online arguing with me he's saying is, it, is this scriptural let me show you scriptural that same scripture so David inquired of the Lord not of the prophet inquired of the Lord not of the prophet of the Lord saying shall I pursue who did he inquire of? Saying, shall I what? Pursue. There are cases that you have just left alone. We are unearthing those issues and we are pursuing in the realm of the spirit. Shall I pursue my order that was taken away by the enemy? Shall I pursue? Can I preach to you in my Italian attire? Pursue. For you shall surely, we are speaking the end from the beginning, Julie. You shall surely, victory is certain. Pursue. You shall surely overtake them. You shall surely overtake them without fail. You shall recover all lost joy, all lost peace, all lost resources, all lost opportunities, all lost time. I said we are pursuing. We are pursuing. Nanga we are pursuing. The powers of darkness that are hired, we are pursuing. We are pursuing. Those fighting your marriage, we are pursuing. Those that are standing in the way of your business, we are pursuing. Psalm 18, 37. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. The word pursue is to confront. Our pursuing will not end in vain. As we pursue, we are going to overtake them. And you know what? The battle is going to get hot. <laughs> the battle will get hot. That's why you need to make sure that you have made up your mind. Disclaimer. Maybe you don't want trouble. Stay in your one room. Make peace with it. But if you've decided to move to Mount Pleasant, where you are pleasantly woken up by birds, where you are prepared to deregister yourself from Kumajecha, 
get ready for war. Someone say it is a war. Say it again, say it is a war. Say from today, going forward, it's a battle. Every prophecy that I've ever been given, I will wage a war. Paul said, my son Timothy, concerning every prophecy previously made unto you, wage a good warfare. You fight for prophecies. There's one word that's frustrating me online. When people see a testimony, they say, I tap. What are you tapping into? You're not tapping anything unless you are sitting. You're not tapping anything until you join midnight prayers. You're not tapping anything until you come for morning prayers. Until you do what produce the testimony, you have not tapped anything. Hey! I have pursued my enemies and I will overtake them. Then he says, neither did I turn back until they were destroyed. Hey, what a verse. We are not turning back until they are completely destroyed. I said every enemy of your soul, every demonic power, every satanic stronghold, I said we are not turning back. I said we are not turning back. At Skumira, even if we have got to continue this thing until much, we are not stopping because our lives must change. I'm prepared to dedicate three months of seriousness unto God so I can begin to see real results in my life. I said real results. I said real results. He says, I have wounded them. So they did not rise. Kuna chaita rema. Chirema, chirema, chirema. There is a grace to paralyze the enemies. Uh, some people are still not yet with us. I said, there's a grace to paralyze the enemies. The Bible says in James 4, 7, resist the devil and he will flee. Ah, hey, hey. I've not to wait for him to get tired and to resist him. I said, today we resist the devil. And that devil we are resisting, he must flee. I said, that devil we are resisting, he must flee. And then submit, and submit yourself unto God. Then resist the devil. So I submit myself to the word. Hallelujah. I said, I submit myself unto the word. And as I submit myself unto God and his word, the devil must flee. I, I see the devil fleeing this season. I need you to participate. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, they must flee from you. Hey. Hallelujah. You must learn to put up a resistance. Don't be a baby. Stop speaking grammar. That devil is not playing games with you. Because he's trying to kill you. You don't play with someone who's trying to kill you. Samson played with Delilah. Delilah was on a mission to kill him. And he was playing with her. Don't play with the devil. Hallelujah. I said you are confronting him. I'm giving you the grace. I said you are getting the grace to confront. Question. Do witches not confront you in dreams? But you know what? They've never, to, until today, they've never yet seen you in their dreams confronting. <laughs> until now, this time, it will be you with the angels of the Lord. According to Psalm 35, let the angel of the Lord pursue them. I said we are going to pursue them by assistance of angelic hosts. We are pursuing the enemy. I said we are pursuing the enemy. That spirit husband must run for his life. Psalm 35 verse 6. And let their way or their path be dark and slippery. Let the angel of the Lord pursue them. I'm not making up scripture. We are pursuing do you know, can I tell you the gospel according to witches? They say, Christians are supposed to be very soft people. Very quiet. They are not aggressive. They say that so that they tone you down. We are refusing to be toned down. Esau, <laughs> he was in trouble. Because he had lost the blessing. He said, Father, I want the blessing. He says, no, the blessing is gone. There are people who feel that the blessing is already gone. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But, he, but he was told by his father, I'm paraphrasing, let me give you a revelation. When you become restless, 
then shall the yoke of your brother be broken off of you there are people who are under family witchcraft uh, as you become restless this morning uh, as you become spiritually restless uh, then the yoke shall be broken off you i refuse to make peace with poverty i refuse to make peace with the sickness i refuse to make uh, peace uh, with affliction uh, i'm becoming restless hey! Tell the enemy we are coming after you. This taposata pinda business must come to an end. You are always almost getting breakthroughs. It must come to an end. Psalm 18 from 37, 38, 39, 40. And I have pursued my enemies. I'm going to overtake them. Neither did I turn back until they were destroyed. Give me the next verse. He says, I have wounded them. So that they could not rise. They have fallen under my feet. They are falling under my feet. Say every witch, wizard, spiritual power working against me. According to this scripture, today by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, you are getting under my feet. You are getting under my feet. Verse, verse 39, he says, for you have armed me with strength for battle. Receive strength today. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, As your days are, so shall your strength be. I refuse to have insufficient strength for my battle or for the day of battle. In other words, as your days are, according to the battles in the day, so shall my strength be. There are days when I don't need as much strength as other days. What causes you to lose a battle when your enemy is stronger than you on that particular day? I was very frustrated yesterday. I mean, on another note, Ireland beat New Zealand. I mean, what is that all about? What is that all about? I mean, I went to bed frustrated. I said, this thing, no. That's, that's for me. Eh? I love New Zealand. Watch this. How do they lose? The strength of their enemy that day was stronger than them. Overall, when you speak overall, New Zealand is 10 times better than Ireland. But on that day, their strength was weak. I refuse to be weak at the wrong time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jehovah God, strengthen me. <laughs> Give me power over all powers of the enemy. I want power over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt me. <laughs> he said, You have armed me with strength for battle, you have subdued under me those who rose against me. That Arkukumukira. Jehovah. Ah, you don't understand the scriptures. Kunakuna zikumukirwa na Jehovah. Ah, zuri papa mbaibir. I'm glad you asked. Psalm 68, verse number one. Let God mukira arise, and let him scatter the enemy. That wizard, argumukira na Jehovah. That occultist, argumukira na Jehovah. That spirit husband, argumukira na Jehovah. Let God. Rise and let the enemy be scattered. You are better than this. You are better than this. You have been subdued by the enemy. Your life is better than this. Yeah, Your business has more potential than this. I refuse to settle for crumbs because of some witchcraft altar. Ah, yeah. Some eighteen Verse forty. Look at this. He says, you have also given me the necks of my enemies. You have not understood Christianity. Christian, Christians are supposed to be soldiers. You have been trying to counsel and evangelize witches. trying to counsel and evangelize witches. When God has given you the neck of your enemy, you are saying, excuse me, let's, see, let's talk. Can't we all just get along? They don't want to get along with you. You are not from the witch coven, so they are not trying to get along with you. They have assignments at the witch coven with your name on it. 
Listen, why am I being very aggressive and why am I saying participate? The Lord said something profound to me two days ago. He said witches and wizards on, on, on satanic altars, they use the power of agreement. So a witch goes on to a witch coven, right? And, and, and at the witch coven, one of their assignments is to bring family members' names, uh, clothes, articles, whatever it is that they can get from you. Hello? Hello? So they sell their family members on witch covens. Remember, which coven is, consists of 13 individuals. Six men, witches. Uh, uh, wizards. Six women, witches. And one leader. It could be male or female. I think that's where they fit in there. Do what you like with that information. The spirit of rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. That's, that's, that's your Bible. So the very rebellious women, witch in training. Aji Oro, witch in training. Aji Era is a witch in training who will soon be issued with the certificate. So, here's, my th here, here's the issue. Farai, watch this. He says, the Lord said to me, he said, they use the power of agreement and this is what they do. In other words, they say, okay, I have a family, a family member. Uh, they present this, this case. And let's assume there are 13 of them. They present the case to whoever the grandmaster is. They say, I have a case in my family. Right? There's one Mike Mugani who's uh, rising above the stipulated level. They now have two cars, but in the spirit we agreed on one. So I have, they put forward what is called emotion. Hello? They put forward emotion and say, right, I've got this problem in my family. Right? And all they need for that motion to be passed is they need someone to second it. The power of agreement. Not only do they get one person agreeing, they get 12 to agree with them. And if you are sleeping that day, you are finished. Oh, you don't believe they gather for you? It's in your Bible. Isaiah 54, verse 15. It says, they shall gather together, but not for me. So, every satanic gathering, that as my name is the agenda whoever puts the motion or is in agreement or seconds it i command them to be destroyed listen let me show you this remember we are prophesying scriptures hello so don't wait for laying on of hands the scriptures are more powerful than my hands and my legs put together he says, indeed, because on the narrow, they shall, they shall surely assemble tonight. He's, he puts something in the spirit. He says, but not because of me. Then he says, whoever assembles against you. So they assemble against you. They're not just meeting for fun, Simba. And whoever assembles against you, the same one shall fall for your sake. Whoever is in a satanic meeting, Discussing me. The Bible says they shall fall for my sake and for the sake of my destiny. Today I prophesy that scripture. Whoever is assembled against me, they are falling today. Open your mouth. We are confronting them in the realm of the spirit. They are falling for my sake. They are falling for my sake. Ah, kabatalabahaya. Some 18. Look at this. And you have also given me the necks of my enemies. So that what? So that I destroy those who hate me. Not so that I sit down and have coffee. Why are you having coffee with witches? Are you running for election? Are you a councillor? So why should you have meetings with witches? I'm not trying to get the vote of a witch. Hands so that I destroyed those who hate me. You have not done that scripture. I want it to sink. You have not done that scripture. (laughs) 
I think that scripture was made for Africa. Because no one hates another person of the same race like an African. Africans are hateful. 90% of the people that are, 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 are in, in Warren Hills there, they died by witchcraft. Say, I refuse to die before my time because of witches, because of wizards. Everyone who hates me, who hates my soul, Jehovah God, attack them by fire because I know they'll do something about their hatred for me. I know hatred I know they'll do something about my marriage. I know they'll do something about my ministry. I know they'll do something about my business. Arise, oh Lord. Arise, oh Lord. Listen, you can provoke the heavens not to have mercy on witches. Because some of them will try and repent during God's attack. They cried out after I attacked them. But there was no one to save them. Even to the Lord. But he did not answer them. Say Jehovah God. Do not answer the wicked when they call for help. When they are in trouble. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Hallelujah. If you notice these scriptures, it's me who's fighting and it's the Lord who's also fighting. You see that combo? Very important. You don't just fold your hands and say, God, do everything. No. There are times that God says, you, do this. Then the time says, step back, let me handle this one. <laughs> are you catching it? I'm teaching you spiritual warfare. You are going to be a headache for wizards in your family. Verse 42, God, now, God did his thing, now it's my turn. He says, then I beat them as fine as the dust before the wind. Who did I use? Jesus, the rock of offense, grind the enemy into powder. Don't my scripture, man. Don't my scripture. I'm going to put my scripture to Sweden. And I love all men. That does not work in Africa. I beat them as fine as the dust watch this before the wind and i cast them out like dead onto the streets david do this is a man after god's own heart your heart is not more british than david david loved god are you seeing it but he was also a man of war in one scripture david says and i am for peace but they are for war <laughs> so i'm not going to speak peace when they want to fight me I'll also use the warring language. Yeah. Hallelujah. Next verse. You have delivered me from the striving of the people. You have made me the head of the nations. A people I have not known shall save me. So after spiritual victory, there's elevation. It's right there. There can be no real elevation before spiritual victory. Say this season, I'm preparing for 2021 as I fight and I war. It must be unto victory. And that victory must be unto elevation. I must be the head of nations and I have been a servant of God and people shall serve me as I serve God as part of my package for spiritual victory Father God I realize that you elevate me to headship after spiritual warfare Deuteronomy 9 Deuteronomy is dethrone your enemy 9 verse 3 Therefore, understand today that the Lord, your God, is he who goes over before you as a consuming fire. He will destroy them and bring them down before you. Is that your Bible? So you shall drive them out and destroy them quickly as the Lord has said to you. So I have the fire of the Lord to fight witches and wizards. That fire will destroy them quickly. 
lift up your right hand say father god i need the grace to move with the fire of the holy ghost in my right hand the blood of jesus in my left hand to destroy all enemies of my destiny all spiritual enemies must be destroyed quickly. We are destroying quickly. We are destroying quickly. We are destroying quickly. We are not delaying this thing. We are destroying quickly, 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 quickly. We are destroying them quickly. Jehovah God, rise and destroy them quickly. Hallelujah. But men of God, why are you being so rough? I've not started. Psalm 55, verse 15. David said he was tired of them. He says, let death seize them. Let them go down, down, alive into hell. Is that in your Bible? This is David. He is speaking what he wants God to do. Never saying, you tell God what to do. This is Bible. He says, concerning my promises, command ye me. Yes, you must tell heaven what you want. Hallelujah. Not just to keep quiet and say, The devil is a joker. That statement is designed to make you get offended at God. Because if you say, And you think God is going to do what he wants. If he does what you don't like, then you don't like God anymore. Can you see how it works? So you must tell heaven what you want. The Bible says, Matthew 18, verse 18 and 19, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. So there are things you have not bound. So heaven has not bound them. The heaven is waiting for you to bind. Today we are going to bind. So David, after doing a careful assessment, he says, let death seize them. Your yes is on a wheelchair. He said, let death seize them. Let them go down into hell. For wickedness is in their dwelling. What is in their dwelling? There are people with wickedness in their dwellings. It, it did not start in some. No. You see it even in Genesis. The man of God, uh, 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 Israel, Jacob, he was making pronouncement on his kids. And some of his kids were witches. I only saw this today. Some of his children were witches. So just because someone's father, you know, is a pastor, doesn't mean that the children cannot be witches. Give me Genesis 49 verse 5. Remember, we're connecting it to instruments, eh? to wickedness. He says, Simeon and Levi are brothers. Eat him. Instruments of cruelty are in their dwelling place. Ah! Go back to that Psalm 55. Let death seize them. Let them go down alive to hell. For wickedness is in their dwelling and among them. So if you connect those two scriptures, there are people with instruments of wickedness. Lift up your right hand in anger. Say Jehovah God. There are enemies with instruments of wickedness in their dwelling instruments to make me poor instruments to make me broke instruments to destroy my marriage sending incantation on my picture there are people with evil altars in their homes working against me today i will not keep quiet today i scatter I scatter by the fire of God all enemies with wickedness in their dwelling, with wicked instruments in their dwelling. I destroy, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. Any altar, any altar with instruments of wickedness. Listen, Julie, Julie, listen. Just put him down. Just put him down. It means Panichavarubata. Don't be naive like Eve. Job 5 verse 12. He says he frustrates. 
You think devices is just iPhone and the Samsung? There are satanic instruments, satanic devices on satanic altars. So Job, this is why Job, Job was prosperous. Job was not a soft guy. These are prayers of Job. The richest man. He prayed warfare prayers. I've just given you a revelation. He frustrates the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. So they have instruments in their homes. They have devices in their homes. They've got plans with those devices against you. So what must you do? You must call on heaven and say, Jehovah God, frustrate these devices. I said, Jehovah God, frustrate the devices being used against me. Destroy those devices by the fire of the Holy Ghost.